Greetings Poofarians, welcome back to another first look. Today we're gonna be scheming through the zombie apocalypse, at least the beginning of it. Uh, it's a game I uh, I got the key from, from the lovely developers of Raza Laika Games. Uh, they have been supplying me with uh, lots of first look keys, um, including this one. I know nothing about it. I do know a little bit about it, though. <laughs> uh, basically, we are in the truck and we have to convince other people to get us stuff because there are zombies outside. Something like that, I guess. You know what? Let's hop in, see what the game will tell us to do. Salesman of Hank? the Year. Hank! Oh, Let for me in! Doors open. It's madness. Fucking madness out there. What the, what the hell are you talking about? The end of the world! I uh, sure. Hey, hey, can you grab a beer from the fridge? You really don't know yet? Know what? Are you kidding me? You didn't notice all the gunshots and screaming? Oh, I figured all the animals are just celebrating something. J just turn on the fucking news, dude. All right, geez, fine. I'll turn on the fucking news. Coming at you live from Beaver Street. It's complete and utter chaos here. Animals are going mad, biting each other. Will anyone tell us what's going on? Oh, we get choice. Is this for real? Is this for real? Yes! A fucking zombie apocalypse, dude! Wow. What are we gonna do, Hank? Well, we're not going out there, that's for sure. You brought some coke, right? Oh, man. Why am I even talking to you? But... Yeah, I brought some white. All right, let's get this end of the world party started. Let me just call everybody. Ah, son of a bitch. No signal. All right, scrap that plan. Let's do some productive. I have an idea. Okay. We'll go through my whole zombie-related Blu-ray collection. <laughs> to, pre to prepare for the apocalypse? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, now you're talking some sense. <laughs> what? Wait. What? Shouldn't we stock up on supplies? Relax, I'm prepared for this situation. I got a year's worth of food and drink up in this place. Now, pick one of these. Oh, you got a lot of cash laying around. Shaun of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, Austin, Austin Powers? Sure, it's not a zombie Austin movie. Austin Powers. Not many zombies in this one, but we'll build towards the zombie movies. Yeah, we don't want to overwork ourselves and get burnt out. Exactly, but wait. You got your best herb with you? Of course. That's the proper way to watch Austin Powers. Ruby, roll him up. Why is ah, son there? Son of a bitch, you lost power? Don't worry, this happens sometimes. I'm sure they'll fix it in no time. Who is going to fix it? Oh yeah, it's the zombie apocalypse. Ah, fucking cabbage. There's a lot of swearing. There's a lot of drug abuse. This is not a child-friendly game. Larry, wake up. I'm awake. Come here. Another runner. Oh, shit. Hold on. That is one groovy motherfucker. Where? There, in the park. The horse? Yes. He's already dodged a dozen zombies. Whoa, nice. Oh, look at him run. He's looking like Tom Cruise out there. In which movie? I don't know. In every movie. <laughs> True. That pony never stops. He's not a pony. He's a horse. That's what they want you to believe. Ugh, whatever. Look, he dodged another one. This might be the first animal this week to survive the park run through. Care to make it interesting? I bet you two lines of coke. Uh, he'll make he'll it. He'll make it. You got it. Come on, horsey. That a boy. Oh, watch out for the corner, zombie, you idiot. Come on. Yep, that'll be the end of him. No, horsey. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. He's done. They always ignore the corners. Wait, we didn't say what I'll get if he dies. Well, never mind, actually. They're out of coke and food and toilet paper. Son of a bitch. Well, you'll just have to drop down to the store and pick up some supplies. What? Why me? Because we ate my food for four months. Hell no, I'm too small. And what, I'm big? You're a rabbit. You can hop right out of trouble. 
I'm 63 years old. I don't hop anymore. I'm 28. That's plenty for my lifestyle. Oh, great argument. Well, this is just peachy. You know what? I'll help you out. Do we still have your walkie-talkies in my van? Yeah, those were impossible to sell. I'll get in the van, it's parked right outside, and I'll guide you using its roof binoculars in a walkie-talkie. Finally putting that pervy upgrade on your van to good use, huh? Hey, you used it more than I did. I was just checking the binoculars' zoom capacity. Yeah, each time you're in the van. All right, whatever. Let's just do this stupid thing. What a lovely prologue. Beautiful. Hank, do you see me? Yes, I see you. Feeling comfortable back there? Can't complain. I really miss the old mating machine. I had some good times in this <laughs> mating machine. God, the street rides didn't destroy her. All right, all right. I'm getting a bit uneasy here. Look at all this blood. Does it look safe to go in? Uh. Yep, it's safe. Yep, it's safe. Okay, I'm going in. This game is pretty neat. Oh, the door is locked. What are you talking about? It's broken. Do you want this broken glass to skin me alive while I squeeze through it? Just be careful. Nah, I have my lock picking tools with me. You know, it's not the best time for showing off. No, I'm not. Oh, just shut up. Uh, press the button to push. Oh, there was, there was, no. There's mini games. Huzzah! Oh, really? Okay, one, two, th missed. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> no. Okay, one, two, three. There you go. Okay, okay, I'm very impressed. Me too. Lock picked a wide open, broken door. <laughs> now when you go inside, I'm in. Ah, shit. What is it? You just had to pick a store that's already got. Oh my god. There's gotta be something in there. Well, let me look around a bit. There are a few boxes of cigarettes. Uh, so there, there's only cigarettes? Sure. Done. Take them all. Maybe we can, you know, and uh, trade them. Well, I guess that's it. Okay. That's it. Wait, there's another door. Sniff it out. Oh, dude, I don't know. Can you see if it's clear? Bro, I can't really see in the other room. I can't really see in the other room. What? The window in that room is covered with something. Well, this is just great. Well, just unless you want us to eat cigarettes today. <laughs> well, unless you want us to eat cigarettes today, I would check out that room. Uh, how about fasting for a day or two? Yeah, no. It's actually really very detoxifying. It's called fasting when you actually have the option of eating food. In our case, it's called starving. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. And? Is it all clear? You should be the one answering that question. Will you just get over it? I don't see zombies outside. Shit in here. I can barely see anything. H Hello? Hello? Any zombies in here? Well, if they can talk back, then we're truly screwed. So there's a fridge near the door, and I think I see a window with a blanket over it. Yes, I can see that window. Go take the blanket down. There could be more things to loot in there. Oh, dude, I don't know. What if there's something in the dark? Don't be a wuss, just remove the blanket. Don't be a wuss, just remove the blanket. Fuck off. Look, don't you think that if there were a zombie inside, it would have already attacked you? I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll risk my whole life to remove a stupid blanket. I think I see you. Is everything okay? Larry? Uh, yeah, yeah. Why are you not... What are you doing? What are you doing? What if, what if I remove it and something jumps me? Oh, just remove it already. Okay, 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 I'm removing it. Ah! 
<laughs> What's going on? Um, nothing. All good, actually. You're a little touched in the head, you know. Oh, fuck off. I'd love to see how you'd handle this. All right. Is there anything else to loot? Um, yeah. I, I see some snacks. See? So it was worth it. Bag of chips, bag of chips, bag of chips. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Done. That's it. I'm going back to the fridge. Ah, crap. It's chained shut with a lock. Oh my god. The time to show off your lock picking skills. Yeah, again. No way. It's one of those, like, tiny, weird locks. Ugh. Then find something to break it with. Oh, I see a pipe lying here. <laughs> I'll try using that as a lever. <laughs> uh, come on. No way. It's, it's too strong. It's quite hilarious. Oh no! Oh boy. Dude. What? Hi, Larry. Uh, you're not. You're gonna go to finding another use for that pipe. You're gonna be finding another use for that pipe. What are you talking about? There's a zombie headed straight towards the building. What? Uh, are you serious? Oh no. Yep. We just got inside. Fuck, I, I can hear it. What do I do? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, this is all your fault. No, no. You and your stupid food. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll tell you what. What? Try breaking the bars on the... No. Uh, yeah, try breaking, try the, breaking bars. the bars. On the window. Okay, that's smart. Come on. Please. Fuck. There's no way I can remove these. Uh, break away the pipe. Break him with the pipe. Okay. I'm trying. Hurry up. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Get it towards you. Just do it already. I can't. Fuck. Stop. Ouch. Stop it. Put it down. Larry, stop. Give me that. Ouch. It's not ah, a... You bit me. <laughs> it's not a zombie. I'm done. What the fuck are you doing, you stupid idiot? You're not a zombie? Do I look like a zombie? Yes. Yes. Yes! You knocked my whiskey to the ground. You're lucky it didn't shatter, <laughs> asshole. What the fuck is wrong with you, parrot? Do you hear yourself? Who that? That's my guide. He's the one who said you're a zombie. You have a hell of a guide, mutt. You sound and look like one. Why? Because I'm green? Because you're wasted. Uh, who makes sounds like that? Who makes sounds like that? I make sounds... Uh, like I want to make bits. But <laughs> uh. so what are you doing in here anyway? Scavenging. I was failing to open this stupid refrigerator when you stumbled in. Hmm, looks like there could be some booze in there. I'll tell you what, I'll open it for you, but we share whatever is inside. Fitty fitty. Fifty fifty? I found it first. Uh, it's my fridge. But you can't even open it. And you can? Yes, I can. Like hell you can. If by some wonder you manage to break the chain, I'll let you have... You know what? Go half. Half of what's inside. Okay. That's what he uh, offered, right? There. Fitty fitty. What? You had a key? Where did you find a key? It was lying right here on the floor. Well done, Larry. How was I supposed to spot a tiny key in this huge mess? Well, a drunk zombie parrot spotted it. Hey, your mother's a zombie. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. <laughs> you know what? I said I'd give you a share of the loot only if you broke the chain. You cheated. Listen, puppy. I did my part, so you better stick to yours. This is bullshit. Don't make me use this pipe again. I want to know what's Whatever. in the fridge. Here, choose your goods. Oh, there's... Okay, so... Soda, soda. Then one, two, three of those. And then one vodka... And uh, I think this is like, uh, oh, 
What is this? Liquor, cherry flavor. I think this this will be. Can we take another one? Can we take another one? Can we take another one? Oh, there you go. So now we got 50-50. Done. You can have the liquor, buddy. Cheating me out of my loot. I should have taken more. You injured my wing with your stupid damn pipe. Oh, you're fine. Hey, there's a huge truck headed your way. Oh, that can't be good. Hey, hey. Zombie Carl. What are you doing on this side of the city? Aha! They think you look like a zombie, too. No. They call me zombie because I'm cool like one. Or because I'm a zombie killer. Wait. Why do you guys call me that? Oh, uh, what's the difference? <laughs> so, who's this canine with you? Glad you asked. This boy is trying to stuff me. Not to mention, he tried to murder me just a minute ago. Is that right? What you have on you, boy? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I, I really need this stuff. You need it more than our good friend Carl here? So, you're just gonna steal from me. No, it's not like that. It's just... Larry, let me speak to him. What the? Hello. Um, we had a deal with the zombie parrot. We had a deal with the zombie parrot. It's really not any of your business, but... Who's this jerk? That's the guy who told the doggy to beat me up. All right, that's it. Hand over all your loot. What? This parrot is blowing it way out of proportion? Or can we talk about it? Yeah, it's... The parrot is blowing this way out of proportion. Either you give us all your loot right now, or we'll break your bones and take it ourselves. Psst, Larry, listen. Why are you whispering? Just make a run for it. What? Are you insane? What is going on? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, stupid walkie-talkie is breaking down. Stupid walkie-talkie is breaking down. Confusing. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. They'll catch me. I haven't walked for four months. How the fuck am I gonna run? They're bulls. They're big and slow. Just run into some building and hide. What else can you do? Just stay here like a pussy and let them rob you? Piss off, Hank. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? I don't know. Uh, alright, fuck it. I'll do it. Uh, alright, fuck it. I'll do it. Yes, do it. Hey, he's running away. Oh man, he is fast. Uh oh. Nice try, puppy. Why, Larry? I can't believe you. Running away is never the answer. Uh, it, 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 it was your fucking idea. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's all his fault. Please don't kill me. Okay, how about this? Uh, take forty percent of his loot, and we're good. Take forty percent of his loot, and we're good. No hot feelings. There won't be any beef between us, I promise. Did he just say beef? No beef between us? Oh man, I know he did not just say that. Uh, I didn't realize that I was... Uh, never mind that. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. You just earned your friend here a hell of a beating, funny guy. Barney, just a second. That's as soon as it's gone from here. Come on, I got fucking scoop with the damn dog gun. Get this get this from him. Um, you know that's rude, right? What's going on? Yeah, I, I really didn't mean anything by it. Are you out of your mind, idiot? You're gonna get me killed. What are they talking about? How should I know? Okay, the percentage you proposed is fine. Just hand it over. Really? Yes. Hurry up. Uh, okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Oh, man. So, uh, some chips as well. Here's some more soda. You know, here's the vodka. I don't need it. Done. There. Now get lost, filthy mutt. Okay, bye bye. Tell your friend. That the zombie apocalypse is no excuse for hate speech. Uh, okay. Will do. At least we got something. Hank! Where are you? Hank! Hold on. I'm here. Whoa! <laughs> Boy, did he smack you good. 
Yes, I know. I was there. That couldn't have gone any worse. You'll do better tomorrow. Fuck no. It was hardly even worth it. Yeah, tell me about it. I should have been better at negotiating with those bulls. I'm a professional world-class salesman for cabbage sake. You were a professional salesman 20 years ago. Yeah, I still am. Well, like hell you are. You almost got me killed out there. Eh. Oh, oh, by the way, I found this. What is that? It's my old sales notebook. I used to write all my greatest tactics down in this thing. It's bursting with powerful principles for manipulating people. This is what made me a millionaire, Larry. Are you gonna go back to selling life insurance now? It's a shame what old age does to animals. No, I'm gonna... What the hell? These motherfuckers followed you? Is this your racist friend? I, I don't know. You don't know? No? <laughs> what the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you want? Shame on you, rabbit. In this day and age, we'll have to wash this tiny animal's mouth out with soap. It's like watch, watching a cartoon. Um, you know who dis disagrees about the tiny part? You know who disagrees about the tiny part? Your mother. Oh. Hank, will you stop it? Anyway, Barney, let's see what we got here. Food, medicine, appliances. Check this out. You found something? Yeah, this stove fits the bill. Um... You're sticking it to us by stealing my stove? You're sticking it to us by stealing my stove? We're teaching you racist bastards a lesson today. We're taking everything you have. Bro, will you come help me with this? Sure. Hey, they, 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 they had a map. Hey, check this out, Larry. Looks like a list of items they're collecting. For some scavenging guild community. Really? Give me that. Wait. It also has a map for good scavenging spots. Hey, put that down. Enjoy my stove, you stupid. Um. Walking beef burgers. <laughs> you walking beef burgers? What the hell, Hank? You can't just say shit like that. <laughs> Hurry up to my van. Ouch! You dropped the stove on my foot, bro. Oh, sorry. Come on, racist stole the map. I think the game is actually starting. Oh, man, now we've fucking done it. We? No, you've done it. You brought the freaking cattle to my place. This, this is exactly why they came. Because of your racist statements. It was an accident. Oh, man. We're fucked, I'll tell you that. I, I mean, you saw that horse this morning. You know, he, he was big, fast, and athletic. And he still died. I'm gonna miss watching the park run-throughs. Uh, now we are in a park run-through, you idiot. Or I bet you at least one of us dies the first year. No. Now we're in a park run-through, you idiot. No, we're in a van. Ugh, we're so dead. Doesn't the van run on gasoline? Look, a fucking rat zombie. Two of them. So, what's the difference between a rat and a zombie rat? What's the difference between a rat and a zombie rat? How can you not take this seriously? Chill, we're in a van, we're fine. Speaking of fine places, look at this. Uh, hey, don't read, uh, Bull's Map? Bull's Map? Yeah, there's an ad for a scavenging guild on the back of the Bull's Map. It says they have rooms, electricity, and running water. Wow. Well, wait. But the bulls live there. So what? It has a very inviting message. Maybe they'll let us join. I doubt the bulls are the ones running the place. Well, it beats living in a rat zombie infested town. They have points next to each item. Looks like this is how you pay for your stay. Oh, with items you bring? Yeah. So that's what the bulls were doing. Does it say where the guild is? Hmm, no. Looks like that part's missing. Of course. It must be somewhere in this town. We'll find it. But we should scavenge a few items so they'll let us in. I'm done with that. But we need to bring at least something. Whatever. We don't even know where it is. Is that a guinea pig walking down the road? Mm-hmm. Well, it's good to know that some of us little guys can make it out here. That is reassuring. Although I'm sure this is one tough guinea pig surviving on his own. 
Look at us. What are we good for? That's not a bad question. What are we good for? Larry, I've got an idea. We may not be strong like those bulls, or motivated by addiction like that parrot, but we do have all these walkie-talkies in the back. We can exchange them. For food. For food? No. I have an even better idea. What if we get that guinea pig to do the scavenging for us? Well, why in Spot's name would he want to do that? Because I'll convince him. That's what I'm good for. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh -huh. well, why are you pulling over? You're actually gonna ask this random animal to scavenge for us? Sir, hello. You're not serious. Greetings, travelers. I'm Hank, and this is Larry. I'm Elliot. You look like the apocalypse has been treating you well. You look like the apocalypse has been treating you well. Really? That's the kindest thing anyone has ever said to me. Absolutely. Anyhow, we have a proposition for you. We know about... A valuable place for scavenging. A valuable place for scavenging. And we can show it to you. Oh, thanks? Well, here is the proposition. You go in and scavenge the place while we are your safety lookouts. You would take this walkie-talkie, and we'll watch you with binoculars and guide you to safety. So you want to show me this place and help me scavenge it? This is really kind, but why would you do that? Because we'll both benefit. After you come back, we would keep... Uh, 35% of the loot. 35% of the loot. Hmm. That seems like a lot to share if I'm the only one actually scavenging. I... I don't know. Let me take the weekend to think it over. Okay, listen. How about if we keep... Uh, 20% of the loot? 20% of the loot. Hmm, I don't know. Don't you think 20% of the loot is fair enough for... Uh, ensuring your safety? Ensuring your safety? Hmm, animals do say safety first. They sure do. Okay, let's do it for 20%. Alright, why not? Making new friendships is very important these days. Totally. And this should be fun. I've never thought of scavenging on a team this way. This is the only safe way to scavenge nowadays. Oh, but wait. Have you ever done this kind of thing before? Yes, we uh, did. Yeah, we've been doing this... Uh, for almost a week. For almost a whole week. At least I'm not your first experiment. <laughs> Nah, we wouldn't use you as a guinea pig. Yeah. Oh, cabbage, I did it again. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hank. Th that's such a terrible stereotype. Those were extremely hard times for guinea pigs. It's it's okay, really. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, uh, of course I didn't. So, where is this great scavenging place? Dude, I can't believe this actually worked. So where are we taking him? Let's choose one of the places on the map. The bulls have them marked as potentially good places for scavenging. Okay, dude, climb aboard. Oh dear, what happened to your eye? Uh, took advice of an idiot. I took the advice of an idiot. Of who? Just some dumb salesman. <laughs> Just some dumb salesman. Oh, okay. All right, time to go. Ha. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I think we have seen enough of uh, of this game for this first look. It, it it looks really enticing. I am very pleased. Uh, basically, it's watching a cartoon. <laughs> it makes my job very easy because I don't have to do a lot of commentary. But that will probably change. Um, but yeah, uh, scheming yourself through the zombie apocalypse is something that you can do if you own a van, binoculars, and some walkie-talkies. Keep that in mind. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. But please don't forget to tell your parents about me. And leave a thumbs up. And I uh, hope to see you down in the comments. For now, I, Boofy, salute you.